Hi guys, I just wanted to <laughs> hop on and um, introduce myself because I know some of you don't know me. My name is um, Tiffany Bergeron um, or Willie B. Willie is a nickname, um, family nickname forever. So Willie B Studios. <laughs> anyway, um, today's pour is not a bloom. It is a straight pour using Floetrol, American Floetrol and classic tube paints or um craft paints in the sense that they're in the little the little craft uh containers so like 24k gold so i don't really measure my paints unfortunately i do a lot of things by feel so but most of my paints are two parts flow trawl to one part paint um that's the tube paints and then um the white I'm using is um, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic, and that is one-to-one -one paint to flow trawl. And like 24K Gold or any of those paints I use like that that are from Deco Art, I usually do to one-to-one -to -one ratio. But then again, that can change a little bit. It's all about the feel and the consistency and that mound-on-a-mound -mound kind of thing. Um, I didn't use any water to thin my paints. So yeah, here we go. Um, and this piece was totally inspired by Sarah Mac. Like I love her straight pores. They're so beautiful. And I feel like she just layers the cup beautifully. So, um, yeah. And, uh, with this piece, I wanted to have a little bit of negative space. Um, and I ended up naming it Red Sea. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, and I did this video wrong again. Hey guys, I'm just going to um, go over the color layering in my cup. I'm not going to talk too much on this video, I swear. So first is the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White. This is the Indigo Mix. This is Amethyst by Art Minds. This is Prussian Blue by Amsterdam. This is a Garnet uh, Extreme Sheen and Crimson Mix. Next was 24K Gold by Deco Art Extreme Sheen. White flow, uh, flow acrylic. That is the Prussian blue. That's a deep turquoise by Liquitex Heavy Body. That's the indigo. White and the garnet crimson mix there. 24K gold. And then I ended with, I wasn't sure, but I ended up doing Prussian Blue. A little bit of that indigo mix and then the deep turquoise and then topping it off with white. So I definitely, like I said, I wanted to do negative space in this piece and I was hoping for like a heavenly passage or um, wings of some sort and um, yeah I don't know why I poured the cup so slowly but I was really enjoying the process I guess <laughs> I didn't want it to end because I knew I was gonna have to tip some stuff off and that cup was a nine ounce cup full to the brim um, I'm probably going to do another one of these, and I'm definitely going to use less paint to get more negative space. So There you go, guys. Enjoy the process, and uh, I'll be back during the flyover.
Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me, it was time to do that negative space. So in the beginning of the pour, I accidentally put white down there. and So I kind of had to futz with it a little bit. Um, but that dark color is that indigo mix. And um, you know, hindsight's 2020. I think next time definitely use a smaller paint for the actual pour, the straight pour. Um, and definitely do a little bit more negative space. That being said, I like the balance in it. I know this is kind of a wild piece and it's not for everybody, but I love doing it. I really had a good time painting this piece and I think I baby babysat it for like an hour after I was done. Um, I also went back over the negative space and deepened it cause I had, you know, I didn't, my coverage wasn't perfect. <clears throat> but you know, I wanted that wing effect or like a heavenly passage and I got that. That's what I got. And as this piece dried, um, I had a few people comment like, oh gosh, it reminds me of the parting of the Red Sea when Moses parted the Red Sea. So hence Red Sea, because that's all I can see now. Okay. Here's the flyover. Um, I love that I ended up putting that garnet mix in there. It was Crimson Master's Touch paint and Garnet by Decoart Extreme Sheen. So it just turned into a really pretty maroony burgundy color. Um, and yeah, I think next time I would probably make my 24K gold a little thicker, but I mean, I don't know, maybe. I love all the cells. I love these bouldery cells and the ones that are kind of stripey and all the lines right here. I was just so happy with, I mean, it literally looked like wings. So again, thanks for hanging with me, you guys. I know this was a longer video and I chatted a lot, even though I said I wasn't going to, but if you like this piece, give me a thumbs up and a follow and let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day.